welcome to part 4 of my uh, tutorial for Arma 3 scripting to run your multiplayer mission. Uh, today we're going to do, it's going to be a little shorter one and there's not a lot of scripting to do, but we're going to talk about uh, Zeus and I'm going to also um, talk to you about a mod that accompanies Zeus called Ares. So today what we're going to do first is I'm going to show you how to implement Zeus. Uh, the, the, one way, the one way I figured out how to do it and if uh, one thing I forgot to mention in my other videos is if you see that I do something, if you're someone that's more seasoned with the scripting, like I said, I'm not a full-on scripter, I'm not a professional at this, but if you see something I do and you think you can you, you can show me another way of doing it, please do send me a message on, on YouTube or on, in the comments below, and I will do another video showing that technique and I will give you credit for it. Uh, just before I start, if you if you if you are that person, I am looking right now for uh, for easy scripts for holstering weapons, including primary and putting in earplugs. So if somebody, if you the pers a person that knows how to uh, can uh, help me with that scripting, that would be really appreciated if, uh, if you guys can help me out with that. So we'll get started with the tutorial. First things first. Um, we're gonna yeah. We're so we're gonna start out air with to to put out Zeus. So basically, when you start the game can show you you need first off you need the Zeus add-on so we're in a tutorial I'm just gonna show you usually the Zeus add-on if you're used to it or if you never use it you press Y so we're just gonna let it load all right so now we're in our loading page we'll, stu we'll choose respawn number one this doesn't matter for this case and I have my TFR on which doesn't matter but uh, let's go with that we could choose this one here for now Respawn. All right, so we're in the game, and usually when you when you want to um, when you want to use Zeus, you press Y. But if it's not there, you'll have a little mini map on. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back in editor, and we're gonna add um, we're gonna add Zeus. All right, so we're back here. So basically, when you want to implement Zeus, basically Zeus is a module. So you're gonna press F7, or you can click on it with your mouse. Oh, and if uh, one thing also I forgot to, to mention is you see the interface here, how it's made one way. There's some of you guys, when you're going to load the game, there's one way to find to use it. Uh, right here, you can either choose the streamlined one, which looks like, yeah, uh, yeah, the streamlined one, which is probably going to look exactly like the one you see here, or the traditional one, the one I'm using right now, which I find more convenient to use. It's easier and it's cleaner. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to choose, go back to Zeus. We're going to go back to Zeus and we're going to choose module. Then, like every other thing, we will double click. Alright. So here, it should be mix. Yes. Uh, no. So we go here and categories and we get Zeus. And the first thing it's going to, default one it's going to give you is Game Master. Alright. So Game Master will basically will let you put Zeus items down. Alright. So what thing we're going to do is uh, here what I do in owner and name is I put in if you guys uh, know what this is is your steam ID 64 so basically what a steam ID 64 is is your identification basically um, multiple digit number with uh, that identifies your user uh, which you can find on steam I'm not sure how again or there's a website that can if you enter your username it can find it for you this is not a private number so I can show it to you guys it doesn't matter and then after that, make sure also in force interface, make sure it's at disable, because if not, the user will be stuck on um, Zeus altogether. So this is my number, and one thing you can do here is you can put um, you can put a description for who who this belongs to. So I'm gonna put my name, so I can identify it later if I need to know. Okay, well this number belongs to who, and then this should work so we're going to hit preview and now we're going to load into the game all right so now we should by pressing y be able to use and yes it loads into zeus so as you can see moving with uh wasd and what's your Right clicking, right clicking mouse will let you move the camera like this. Sc the scroll wheel will make you go up and front and back, and the left click will let you select. 
Now as you can see stuff that it we put in the editor are not selectable. So for now so basically with Zeus if you don't know what Zeus is it lets you put uh blue four if you it's basically what the editor looks like but more uh, uh, just in one menu instead. So basically you got unit group modules uh, markers and resync. So basically what we have here units you can put these these all these units will be accompanied with like um blue four units red and the one that usually you'll be using is going to be empty so the this will be you it's going to let you like spawn in vehicles which you can move around and same thing as editor you can hold shift down to rotate the item and if you want to delete it you just hover your cursor over it and you press delete on your keyboard same thing as the editor so nothing foreign here nothing to confuse you um, so right now so what we're going to do so basically other thing you can do if we go to module now as you can see I got special ones you might not have if you don't have the Ares mod so basically anything that doesn't have the little um, helmet beside it is the what normally comes with er, er, uh, with Zeus so basically some some things you'll be using is this uh, which is um, you got your Zeus lighting bulb Zeus lighting bulb Control basically remote control will let allow you to control uh, units that you have positioned in Zeus. Um, it won't let you control. Um, it won't allow. It won't let you control um, uh, play uh, people that are being played, like playable characters. Like if if I would choose myself, I can't see and found not unit con found no unit to control. And this here, this is another interesting item that I can show you. Uh, now actually for arsenal we'll go to uh, units empty and we will put um usually what i like to do is use a uh, where are they where are they mm, flags did i use flags uh, no i used intent so flag flag pole you can see here i got a flag pole with nothing on it then we go back to our module can do arsenal arsenal can now be set only uh, is it working arsenal can be set only for single players okay I don't know if it worked let's see if it worked no it, it did not so I don't know why it did that but in, in this case it doesn't matter usually if you um See if I could move four. No. Move tanks, move tanks. Okay. Arsenal Zeus, Arsenal. Alright, so here, as you can see. Um, this is what usually if you do it properly this is what's going to show up uh, usually if you put it on an item usually it should allow you that you can walk up to the item do that and it's going to give you this screen for your own player but then for some reason it's not working so in this case if you want to set up if you want to um, adjust your players if you want them to look a certain way you can adjust everything here glasses you can put a helmet on blah 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 and then you can just cancel out and he's going to be dressed the way you left him you don't there's no saving or anything so arsenal that's one way of doing it i didn't even, i didn't even know that but that's okay so we're going to just delete him oh well here we're going to i'm just going to put him back here and in there and i'm going to show you the remote control one where you can jump into the player you put into zeus and you can control him and then when you press you press Y again, you exit control. Alright. Alright, so. And then the other ones you can play around with. I'm not going to go all through all of them. One other one you might use fire support. Where you can, like, if you want to screw around with your friends, you can put this in. And I might die here. So you got difference when you can play around with. 
uh, objective uh, respawn I didn't even t I didn't have time to uh, play around with these so one thing one the, the add-on uh, I was gonna be talking about earlier is called uh, Zeus so basically Zeus is every little thing you see with a helmet are extras so okay so that's why it wasn't working so here with uh, Zeus this is where you want to add arsenal so in this case I would press add full arsenal in arsenal then the arsenal is added to okay yeah now now I understand my, my mistake was as you can see when I when I scroll arsenal and I can using the same right click to rotate in and out with the scroll wheel I can do basically everything the only thing it doesn't allow you to do, it doesn't allow you to spawn in cars. Alright, so there we go. As you can see, it worked. You can choose vehicle. Now, the only thing is it's going to be, if you choose weapon, when you, if you change weapons, it's going to limit you in the weapons you have. So keep that in mind whenever you're uh, setting that up. Uh, equipment. Uh, I've played around with these a bit. It don't work quite as much. But I'll, I'll be talking about stuff that I really enjoy. Um... I'll be ta showing you uh, other stuff that is more useful in uh, in the Ars in the uh, uh, Ares uh, mod, which also I'm going to be posting a link to where you can find this. So one thing also, so if we remove this flagpole and we put in a new one, I'm going to put in a new flagpole here. Go back into module. And we go back into teleport. We can here. What you can do is you can teleport, uh, teleport Zeus, so you can teleport yourself from where you want on the map. Uh, you can here. You can teleport single unit. So here, and if ever you have other uh, your friends around, you can you can it will teleport your friends. Anybody, anybody that's a playable or player in, or in multiplayer, or you can create. Uh, teleporter so I just created teleporter name alpha basically what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to uh, create so here I'm gonna create another teleporter so I got a teleporter Bravo and I'm gonna create another teleporter create teleporter Charlie so this this is a quick one on the fly. So here with the scroll wheel, teleport to Charlie. Teleport to Alpha or to Bravo. So if you're if you want to do quick set me ups, you can do that. Or if your friends are having problems, or you're you're not teleporting them fast enough, if you have like a lot of people, uh, you can always put flagpoles to where they are, to where that you want them to go, and that's always a quick way. Now, what I like is the teleporter is then requ it doesn't require you to do a lot of hand coding to get it done. So Ares uh, like eliminates that problem you might have. Um, another thing that I can show you, uh, teleport. The rest it's pretty straightforward. If you want to make teleport or groups or NATO or whatever you want to teleport. Now, one thing I like, I enjoy, like you see, see here the three flagpoles I just put down. Uh, I will, what you can do in save load, is you will click on it, and you can generate mission SQF. So here what you can do, is you can, uh, actually I never include markers, because uh, it just clogs up. So here basically it's going to include anything you put down in Zeus, will code it, but one thing it will not code, it will not code the arsenal that I showed you, and the teleporters. Those are the two things I tried, and it doesn't transport that coding. You're gonna have to. Those are gonna be another thing I'm gonna show you in an, uh, more uh, later tutorials how to code code them in. So basically, it's gonna give you this code, and I'm gonna copy this. Press OK. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do save and exit, just to show you that once I put this down with Zeus and I load back in, that they won't be there. So if I do this. Restart server. Go back in game. I'm going to go back to the exact spot where I was, and you'll see the poles are not there anymore. Go back here. Respawn number three. 
Sorry for the little beeping, my TFR keeps uh, I got a uh, team speak on. But as you can see, the flag poles are not there, and I'm dressed. In, I'm in one of my random loadouts that let Ella choose from. So, the thing that I copied earlier, what I'm going to do, is we're going to go to our folder, our mission folder for this. So, we're going to turn, uh, go back up here. We will be going in our init file. And the thing that I copied will go down. What I like to do is I like to put this, the double slash will um, basically put, it's a comment you can put in for this. So you will put, um, in this case, uh, you can name it um, uh, flag poles uh, added in Zeus. And then after that, you can just paste. As you can see, if you're doing it in Notepad, it just freaking copies it all the way because it just in 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 the art in the thing itself, it just copies it in one single line. So what you can do here is I uh, usually what I do is I just go like this. Each object has tr three lines, which I'll explain in a couple of seconds. As you can see, so I put down three flag poles and I get three lines. So basically, it's going to create. Basically, it's going to create the, the it's going to create the flag pole F. That's the that's the class name. And it's going to set its position as all the set position, uh, set the, the the position. Uh, if I remember, at sea level, if uh, ASL means again, and set vector and all that stuff in inside the map so it understand where it is. And then after that, what you're going to do is you're going to click save. This is your init file. Then you're going to go back in the game. Restart again. Every time you, you do something new, you probably get, you're going to have to hit restart or you're going to say have to save it in your editor. So we're going to load back in. It should load back in a bit faster because we've loaded the mission multiple times already. flagpoles should be all there and as you can see our three flagpoles are there that easy so that's good if um, if you guys uh, if you guys are following a lot of Arma news you know there's going to be Eden 3d editor coming out which will help you do that in the editor 3d but if you're in a pickle and you really want to put position something like that takes a time because usually if you want to position buildings if you're like creating your own base or something it's going to be time consuming like to put it in the editor the, the 2d put it down preview see if it's position ro go back to it at a rotate adjust a couple centimeters blah blah or uh, inches and then come back in this this case you can put it in and then after that you just put it in your code and it's going to be there but as as, uh, uh, as i told you earlier you see that it doesn't do anything it just identifies it at a pole but there's no teleport there's no arsenal on it like a shoot, it just it just inserts the item. Now, of course, if you're a more advanced user and you know how to code, in the f in the init file, you could probably uh, program it to add those things. But like I said, I'm going to show you how to uh, how to add in teleport, how to add these in scripting, how to add uh, teleportation poles, and our arsenal, and another thing too that we'll talk about later, uh, another video. So this is the so the only thing that also uh, that it's n not the always the best way to doing this is the problem is is because it's in the initiation initiation file it will not um these things will not show up in your editor so you won't be able to like once uh, you're in editor you won't be able to add anything to these poles they're not technically not there until it, 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 they are initialized inside the mission uh if we go back to zeus am i missing something oh yes uh, the other thing uh one thing you can do is you can in um, where is it equipment? No. Oh, in you util for utilities. Um, these will give you a lot of other things, uh, like uh, landing, uh, make Zeus in. Oh yeah, make Zeus invincible. As you can see, make Zeus visible. So that's another little cool feature. Um. There's a couple other things. I haven't tried all of them. You can change temperature, uh, overcast, uh, full uh, rain, 90% uh, setting. Uh, I'm 
sharp transition and kaboom all right i'm gonna change the temperature on the fly a bit later i'll show you how to use the debug console to skip time and uh, how to adjust it in your um in the editor itself to start off the way you want it uh, so we will And the, this thing here, add object to Zeus. This, if every object that you put down in the world, in your editor, and you, let's say you want to move it around, you can just do this. Everything, all all units in mission, and anything you added, your player, flag poles, and you'll see over there. You got the Zeus module. You can do, and you can move them around. Now, be warned if you. If you're using this to um, move stuff around, like let's say I move my player like uh, its starting position here, you're gonna have to put him in init file. Uh, as you can see here, you got the modules here that uh, come into your your tree. Um, sorry, what was I saying? Yeah. So anything you move, and then after that you go back into uh, save generate coding for entire map now it's going to put you everything you have of course now i have errors because some objects are uh, some module uh, zeus doesn't understand like um like uh, zeus itself the module and uh, another thing i don't understand what it does in the game uh, as you can see that so is there anything else um, change player side Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, you can also create um, oh, and you can also add a coding, all machine, local, or server, which is basically your debug console, which I showed you how to turn on in the on the first tutorial. And I th remove all objects from Zeus. As you can see, I removed everything, but it still leaves the game master panel. So that will just turn everything back off. But if you, th this also applies that if I put something, if I say put uh, a car down, if I put a car down with units, and then I write game to util, remove all objects from Zeus, it will take that object off, so I won't be able to edit this object anymore. And I won't be able to, let's say, um, go back into the main Zeus thing and I won't be able to control it. So I'll know units to control because I don't have any markers for it anymore. Alright. So let's see if I missed anything. Um, create basic. What's this? Oh. So also these, you can add basic ammo boxes. So I've never tried these before, so so these will add basically anything you want. If you want to edit them, but usually if you double click on them, it and so if you double click on the box, you can adjust. Uh, you can uh, you can take the boxes and you can adjust them as you want, add or remove. But also this is like let's just do ammo boxes which will uh, which I'll, I'll show how to do customize customizable gear boxes you go in the um, units empty or ammo where is it ammo then you have all gear box all the gear boxes here basic ammo basic weapon cargo next explosives fire equipment grenades everything's there so you'll get you'll get to see that in other videos how these you can customize these a bit later with when uh, when I do it in the editor. Now also here, uh, I'm not too sure how to use this feature right here, reinforcement. You can create a new landing zone. So I create a new landing zone and then I can spawn a unit on top of it. Then you can choose whatever you want. And unlike Decoded Scout, 
Real Call Behavior, uh, RTD and Despawn. Not sure what that is exactly. Uh, unit UI Point Mouse. Uh, unit Duke of Lundy Home Mirrors. Real Call Behavior. Conscious. And he might kill me actually. Yep. Oh. There we go. So that will spawn it, and usually I don't uh, I don't know what else it does. So sorry if you guys know what more it is. Yeah. What is he doing? What is he doing? Oh. And the driver's dead. So. All right. Okay. All right. So. That's going to be it for the Zeus and Ares mod. Like I said, I will put the Ares mod link in. It's going to be from Armaholic. I'm going to put that link down in, in there for you so you guys can see it. And um, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And um, I will see you in the next video. The next video will be how to put script, how to script in arsenals. Like I showed you, but actually script in, so it's always there. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.